Hi, this is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about some more examples on push down abdomen. As in our previous video, we have taken few examples which seems to be similar, but at the time of designing the push down automata, we have seen a difference in that. Similarly, in this video also we are going to take some more examples which seems to be similar, but at the time of designing the PDA, there is a lot of difference. So, for better understanding, watch the video till the end. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say it. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. The first example that we are going to discuss today is construct a PDA that accept language a to the power m plus n, b to the power n, c to the power m, where m and n both of them greater than or equal to 1. Now the strings that will be getting generated by this language are a square bc, a cube b square c, a cube b c square, a to the power 4, b to the power 3, c to the power 1 and there are many more. But the sum of power of b and c is supposed to be the power of a. It means how many a's we are generating. It is same as sum of number of b's and number of c's getting generated. Here a to the power 4, b square, c square means we are having 4 a's followed by 2 b's and 2 c's. Let us see the observation that we are having. A is the starting symbol. We can have any number of A's after the first A. When the first B appear, A can never appear. After the appearance of first C, A or B can never appear. And the number of A's supposed to be number of B's and number of C's appear. Let us see the requirement. As we know, we need to find the sum of B's and C's and that we need to equate with the number of A's so we need a memory so whenever any A appear we'll try to push it onto the stack and whenever B or C appear we'll be popping out a A from the stack when all the A's will be popped out we can say the string is accepted so let us try to design let us take this string A A A B B and C C as you know that before the string started, we have written an epsilon and after the string is over, we have written an epsilon. Now when the first epsilon will appear, we can go with the transition from, from starting state Q0 to Q1. And the leveled arc will contain epsilon, comma, epsilon, arrow, Z0. It means epsilon is there as the input string, epsilon is there on the stack. So I want to push Z0 onto the stack. So it will be like this. The next symbol that will appear is A. Now A is the input symbol. Z0 is on the top of the stack. So A, Z0, arrow A, Z0. It means A is the input symbol. Z0 is the stack symbol. So we are going to push A, Z0. It means we are going to pop Z0. We will push Z0 first then the input symbol A to be pushed. Next symbol that we are having is one more A. Now A is there on the top of the stack and A is the input symbol. So we want to push A A onto the stack. It means we will pop the top of the stack that is A, push it again onto the stack and push the input symbol A onto the stack. The next input symbol is again A A. And on the top of the stack, we are having A. The same situation, we are there in state Q1. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop A, which is there on the top of the stack. Push the A, which we popped. And again, we will push the input symbol A onto the stack. Next symbol is one more A we are having. So the same condition is prevailing. A is the input symbol and A is on the top of the stack. So we will be in the same state that is Q1. We want to pop A, push 
the A that we popped and again push the A that is there in the input string. Now we have pushed all the A's onto the stack. Now the next input symbol is B. It means B is the input symbol, A is on the top of the stack, then what we are going to do? We are going to pop it off. It means delta of Q1 B A equal to Q2 epsilon. We were there in state Q1, we got input symbol B and at the top of the stack we have A. So we will be popping A from the stack. So this is what we are going to get. The next symbol is again one more B. So again we are having the same thing. B is the input symbol and A is on the top of the stack. So we want to pop the A which was there on the top of the stack. So as many B's will be there, we are going to do the same thing here. The next input symbol is C. It means C is the input symbol. A is on the top of the stack. So we want to pop A A from the stack. And the transition will be like this. Delta of Q0 C2 A equal to Q3 epsilon. It means we were there in state Q2. We got input symbol C. At the top of the stack we had A. So we will be popping the A which is there on the top of the stack. And we will go to state Q3. The next symbol is again one more C is there. The same thing we will be doing. That C is the input symbol. A is the top of the stack. So we want to pop it off. The next input symbol is epsilon. So when epsilon is appearing, we are having Z0 at the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop Z0 from the stack and say the string is accepted. It means delta of Q3 epsilon Z0 equal to Q4 epsilon. We were there at state Q3. We got input symbol epsilon. Z0 is the top of the stack. So we want to pop it off and we'll go to the final state. Now you can see nothing is there on the top of the stack and epsilon is there as the input string. So we can say the string A A A A B B C C is accepted. So now you know how we have constructed the PDA A to the power M plus N, B to the power N, C to the power M. Let us take one more example. We will be constructing a PDA that will be having language like a to the power m, b to the power m plus n and c to the power n where m and n greater than or equal to 1 and the string will be of this form a square b to the power 5 c 3. It means there will be 2 a's followed by 5 b's and then 3 c's. Let us see the requirement. The requirements are a is the first symbol. After first a appeared we can have many a's. After that we will be having first b and when the first b appeared we can never have a appeared. Then we will be having number of c's and when the first c appeared we can never have number of a's and number of b's. And number of b's is equal to sum of number of a's and number of c's appeared. Now the requirement is we, as we are doing some kind of matching we need a memory. So whenever a A appears, we will be pushing it onto the stack. Whenever a B appears, we will be popping till we get the end of the stack and then we will start pushing number of Bs and whenever number of C will appear, we will be popping off number of Bs. Let us see how. Epsilon is there as the input string and we are there in the starting state that is Q0. And with the transition epsilon comma epsilon arrow z0 we are going to q1. It means epsilon is there as the input string and epsilon is there on the top of the stack. So we want to push z0 onto the stack. The next input symbol is a and the transition will be a is the input symbol z0 is at the top of the stack. So we want to push a z0 onto the stack. So the transition will be delta of q1 a z0 equal to q1 a z0. So it will be like this. We want to pop Z0 then we will be pushing Z0 and we will be again pushing the input symbol A onto the stack. The next input symbol is A. So A is on the top of the stack. 
and A is the input symbol. So what we are going to do? We want to push A A onto the stack. It means we will be popping out the A and then pushing the same A onto the stack and after that we will be pushing the input symbol A onto the stack. Now we are having input symbol B. It means at the top of the stack we are having A and input symbol is B. So we will be popping out that particular A. On the appearance of first B we have popped the first A which is there on the top of the stack. The next input symbol is again one more B. It means B is the input symbol and A is on the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop it off. It means delta of Q2 B A equal to Q2 epsilon. So after the execution of this statement, the A which was there on the top of the stack will be popped off. The next input symbol is one more B. And now you can see Z0 is at the top of the stack. So in that case, what we are going to do? We are going to push B onto the stack. It means we were there at state Q2. B is the input symbol. Z0 is at the top of the stack. So we will be there in the same state Q2 and we will be pushing B onto the stack. So this is what we are going to perform. The next input symbol is again AB. Now you can see B is at the top of the stack and B is the input symbol. So you want to push the B that is there in the input symbol to the stack. So we will be popping the B which is there on the top of the stack and again we will be pushing the same B and along with that we will be pushing the B which is there as the input string. Now as many B's appear after that we are going to do the same thing. B is the input symbol, B is on the top of the stack so we will be popping out the B, pushing the same B and after that the B that appeared in the input string like this. The next input symbol as C. Now C is the input symbol, B is on the top of the stack. So what we are going to do? We are going to pop the B which is there on the top of the stack. So this is what we are going to write in the form of transition. Delta of Q2 C B equal to Q3 epsilon. Earlier we were there in Q2 state and after the execution of this we will be there in Q3 state. The next input symbol is again a C. So on appearing of the C again we are going to pop the top of the stack that is B. The next symbol again is a C and whenever this C appears also we are going to do the same thing. What was there on the top of the stack we are going to pop it off. Now the last symbol appeared that is epsilon. So epsilon is there as the input symbol and Z0 is there at the top of the stack. So we want to pop this particular Z0 and go to the state which is accepted. Now you can see that nothing is there as the input symbol, nothing is there at the top of the stack. So the string is accepted. I hope you understood this. Let us modify this example little bit more. So the string that we are going to construct is a to the power m, b to the power n, c to the power m plus n where m and n greater than equal to 1. And the string will be like this epsilon a a b b b c c c c c. It means there are two a's, three b's and five c's. So on the appearance of first epsilon, we are going from the starting state Q0 to Q1 and the transition will be epsilon, comma, epsilon, arrow Z0. So Z0 will be at the top of the stack. And when A's are the input symbol, then at that time either Z0 at the top of the stack or A is at the top of the stack. So in either of the cases, we will be popping up what is there on the top of the stack and push the input symbol A onto the stack. Next, we are getting B's. Whenever we are getting the B's, we are going to push all the B's onto the stack. It means at this stage, either A is at the top of the stack or B is at the top of the stack. So whatever may be the case, we are going to push B onto the stack. So whenever number of C's will appear, either B will be there at the top of the stack or A will be there at the top of the stack. Whatever may be the condition, we are going to pop the top of the stack. 
So this is how we are going to eliminate number of A's and number of B's that we have already pushed onto the stack. And the last symbol that we are having is epsilon. On appearance of epsilon, if Z0 is there at the top of the stack, we are going to pop Z0 and can reach the final state. I hope you understood this example also. You have seen with the little difference in the language how the PDA changed. So if you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to take few more examples like this and discuss about PDA. See you then. Take care. Bye.